CS Timer is the most widely used cubing software, with the majority of cubers using it to time their solves. However, there are many features that only a few people use that are very useful. So in this video, I will be talking about some of these. The first thing I will talk about is the scrambles. You are probably used to seeing WCA in the left and the event on the right. Most people have this and will only ever change the right bar. What you should do is press on the left bar and you will see you have lots of options for different cubes. Now, this is good, but most people do not generally speed solve non-WCA puzzles. So what you can do is press on any event you want to practice and then go over to the right bar. Now you'll have some different ways to scramble the puzzles. There are many options and it is worth looking through all of them, but I will talk about some notable ones now. You can train algorithms if you go into options like PLL for 3x3 and L4E for Pyraminx. It will scramble it so that you only have to do an algorithm of that set to solve the cube. You can practice harder scrambles using the no bar option on 2x2 Pyraminx and Skube and practice easier scrambles using the easy cross on 3x3. I will now move away from scrambles over to the top left corner. Click on this icon. Now you should have a net of the event you are practicing on the bottom right corner. This is the tools section of CS Timer and it is very useful if you want more information about your times. If you click on draw scramble there will be lots of options and I will go over the good ones now. Time trend is a graph of your solves and the two types of averages you have chosen. Time distribution shows your times on a bar chart, putting them into ranges. I find this to be the most useful tool to see how fast you are at an event and how consistent you are. The metronome can be used to practice look ahead if you turn once every beep. Solvers can solve certain first steps of different puzzles for you. This is good for knowing if your solution is good or optimal. The online competition feature does a weekly online competition in some events. Not many people do this, but it is enough to be interesting. If you want more than one of these at a time, go to Options, Tools, and then change the number of tools. The last thing I will go over is some of the important settings you might want to change. On Statistics, it is worth changing the list to length to a large number. I usually go for 50 or 100. In Timer, there is an option called Multiphase. This is the amount of times you have to press the spacebar down to stop the timer. It records the amount of time between each press. This can be useful to see how long it takes you to do each step in a solve. Set the multiphase to however many steps there are in the method and hit the spacebar every time you finish a step. You will get an average for each step and the overall time. I hope you learned something in this video. CS Timer can be very useful if you use it to its full potential.